Hi everybody, my name is Dennis. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about cloning your hard drive. So whether it be a three and a half inch hard drive or a two and a half inch. You've got your operating system, you've got all your software on it, and now you're like, oh I use too small a hard drive, or I want to change it to an SSD, whatever the case might be where you want to move it to. You want to take all your information, including your operating system, onto another hard drive, and then you're going to remove that hard drive, put the new one into your system, and everything is going to be exactly the same, and you're going to continue on. So once you start this process, you need a couple of different things. This is a three and a half inch drive, yeah, external enclosure. So you're going to plug in down here, so you can see where your um, SSD is going to go, or your SATA drive, I should say. And of course, it's going to plug into the wall. You've got an adapter, and the other one plugs into the USB 3.0 of your system. All right, so that's just the uh, guts of it. Now, you can use a three and a half inch, or like I say, you can use a two and a half inch drive. Whatever one you use doesn't matter. Just make sure that whatever one you're going to, whether it be a two and a half inch to a three and a half or whatever, make sure that you have the capacity on the new hard drive you're going to to accommodate the space. If you've got one terabyte of space on your hard drive you're using and you're trying to put it on a 500 gig, it's not going to work. So, of course, you're going to need a hard drive, which is just going to go in here, slides into your external bay. Okay, we're going to put the cover on there. So we're going to plug that into our computer. And we're going to plug it into the power so we have power going to this. Now, once I plugged it in, there's a power button on this particular one. So I'm going to do that. And then we're ready to start the cloning process. So I'm going to switch to the screen and show you what I do next here. So the next step in the process is to get the software that's going to allow you to clone it. So in this case, I'm going to use a program called Macram Reflect. It's a free version you can download. And I'm going to show you where to get it from. So first you're going to go and search online. So as you can see, I'm typing in Macram Reflect. And it's going to do a search. So this is what shows it here, Macram Reflect software. You want the free one, so Macron Reflect free, because this is the one I've used in the past. Now when you use it, you want to make sure that you choose the home use version. Alright? Down here, it's going to, on your screen, it's going to download. When it's done, now I've, it's got a one because I downloaded it before. But that's okay. Once it's done, you, you're just going to click it to open it up. And now you can see everything here. Okay? So it's where it's going to install to. You can you can install it wherever you want. Okay, you can see we're using the free version, and now we're going to download it and override the existing. I'm going to say yes. And I'm doing this just because I want to show you the process because I've already done it before. I could have just used that, but I don't want to skip anything so you get all the details. All right, so it says, do you want to install it? Of course, you want to allow it to be used on your computer. So you're going to say yes. Click next to extract the files. It'll do it on its own. Now, it says copy and PE components. That's just the uh, environment that it's going to be using to, to do the cloning from. So, say next again. Uh, accept the terms. You want to say the home version. Say next. You can skip this part because I'm not going to register. Just, do you want to register your copy? So I'm just going to say no for now. I will get the uh, full version. No, I'm going to buy it because I do like this product. And you're just going to go ahead and install. So I just click next and click install. And it says, do you want to launch it? So we're going to click finish, and that's what's going to happen. Now that we've already plugged in our hard drive we're going to go to, you can see it's showing up here. And of course, this is our hard drive that we have in the system right now. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to clone this disk. 
So just click here. Okay, click on here to select the one you want to clone. And click next, it's going to ask you for your destination, so I'll show you that. Okay, so just please select the destination disk. So you're going to click OK. And you're going to click select the disk to clone. You're going to click on the destination disk, which is here. All right, now you're going to click next. And you don't need to do anything here. It's if you want it to schedule other things. So right now we're just going to go ahead and click next again. Okay, so it's looking at all the information that's there. It's going to take a second. And then we're just going to click finish over here. And you can name it whatever you want. It's going to say save it as a backup. Okay, so that's fine. You can just leave it as it is. And you can rename this. My clone one. You can clone. You can, you can type whatever you want in there. Click OK. And now it's going to tell you that it's all it's starting. So this process will carry on. It'll overwrite anything that you might have had on your destination hard drive. So make sure that uh, if you had one that had anything on it, It'll also allow you to wipe any partitions out of there so you can use it. So that's pretty much it. It's uh, still continuing. That pop-up window will come up. I'm not exactly sure why it does that, but it, it does just close it when it does. And then it's just going to go ahead now and continue with the cloning process. Now it does tend to speed up once it gets to about 75%. So then it, uh, the rest of the process only takes a few uh, few seconds, maybe about 30 seconds or so. But I'll pause that so you don't have to watch the entire thing. And there, you can see all your files are copied, your windows, everything that you had on it from before. And now you're ready to take that hard drive, reinsert it into your system, boot the system back up. Everything will come back exactly the same as it was before. And you're good to go. And when you're done this, you can just click on Oh, actually, just let this finish. It's not quite done yet. Now it's done. All right. Now you can close it. And that's it. That's the that's the gist of what this program will do for you. It's a great little program. Highly uh, recommended. I've used it before in the past. So now when we're done with this, we just close it right down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect my um, drive from the system and then you'll see one of these disappear and it's going to be the, the bottom one. But basically this was the storage, the one that was there a second ago was identical. So when I take that hard drive out, it's now going to go back in and recognize it. Alright, so basically you nothing's changed, you've got your original system and you've got your one here. The other one that I unplugged was the exact same as this. So when I plug it back in, it's going to be replacing this one. So you have to make sure when you go in your system, you disconnect the hard drive you were using, and you put in the one that you cloned, which was identical to this. Now the reason you'd want to do this is if you had a hard drive that was failing, you had all your information on it, but you didn't want to get rid of it, That's you just want to put it to another hard drive and continue using it. And a newer hard drive, of course, will last a lot longer. You don't have to worry about it. Or if you just want to replace it, that's another reason. Okay, there's a lot of reasons for why you want to change your hard drive or clone your hard drive. But that's the process. All right, so just to talk a little bit more, I did clone the hard drive. Um, I did put it back in the system, unfortunately. The filming of it, something went wrong with the phone, so I lost the footage. But just to let you know, after I cloned it, I did swap the hard drive out, put the new one in that I cloned, it started up with absolutely no problem. Okay, so now that's going from the same hardware to the same hardware, changing your hard drive to either an SSD or to another 3.5 inch hard drive or even a bigger 2.5 inch hard drive. So that's what it's designed for and that's what I used it for. All right, everybody. So. That's the video. If you like it, hit that like. If you don't, you know what to do. Subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Thanks for watching.